bright students come in and they think, like the rest of us, that consuming fat equals fat. That was the absurdity of, of what Ansel Keys had done. The devastation, the fallout because of this misinformation. How did we get to the point where two-thirds of our society is overweight or obese? You know, what happened? My parents actually uh, sent me to fat camp. I went for the summer and I lost weight and I came home and I ate it all back on. I struggled my whole life with that. So you're very rarely going to find people in ketosis today. And the consequences of that is a whole range of chronic diseases. When I went to the doctor in 2000, I got the typical diagnosis. Stand by, get ready to die. I mean, literally, they had the nerve to look me in the face and say that. We are profiting off of the creation of sickness. Obesity is now the greatest source of inflammation in our body, and inflammation is the common factor of cancer, heart disease, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, and others. The cancer cells really aren't adapted to be able to use ketones, where our brain functions very well on ketones. In fact, a lot of the things that we've been taught in medicine about fats are just wrong. These foods are engineered to be so tasty. It's hard to reject them, but they're nutritionally depleted. Anything we decide to mass produce, we start getting hurt the second you start eating it. We are telling people to follow a diet that damages your cells down to the level of your DNA and disrupts every potential function in your cell. And from there, we get disease. The Inuit Indians, for example, live terribly long lives with no heart disease, no strokes, all on whale blubber fat. The goal is to become really good at burning fat and to become so efficient that you don't need to eat a lot of food. I woke up and I just thought, if I don't do this now, I'm gonna be fat every minute for the rest of my life. Not just obesity, not just diabetes, Alzheimer's, autoimmune disorders, cancers, every disease you can name. Once you start looking for ways that you can do something, you become unstoppable.